Hey there, fellow irrigation nerds. So we got another little how-to tip. It's actually a little kind of a trick. Well, not really a trick, but a device we use not very often, mostly on commercial sites where we have one bad wire. We might have you know, 20, 30 good wires, and then there's one bad wire. In this particular site, we've been, we've spent about a day and a half looking for this one bad wire and we fixed found some damaged wires but that didn't fix the connection so the this one particular zone still is not connected not making a circuit so we're going to add this product to this particular wire and it's not going to double up it's going to decode it so that these two zones will run separately but we'll use the one good wire coming off that valve that works and we'll be able to bypass the bad wire all righty so here we go so this is the bad wire well it's bad towards the controller and then uh, we're gonna tie it in with that one and it basically it's about three tenths of a mile it goes all the way 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 over there and then the bad uh, sections right over there that we tried to fix but the area where it goes, um, fixed it, it was damaged, and then it goes under the asphalt for like 100 feet. So um, we're just gonna do this. It's the most economical thing at this point. Alrighty, so this does look a little bit crazy in there, but it's not too bad. It does come with instructions. So what we did was wired in one of the zones to common in this brown wire and then that zone the other zone we did uh, the blue let's see here sorry this blue and this white so you can see the blue one runs under there into that guy and then we took the good wire it goes to the controller, wired it into the orange and the white. Orange that goes to the controller and then the common that goes to the controller. So both of these go to the controller. And well, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, but there you go, like that. And then there's one more little piece that goes into, that we get a wire into the controller and then it'll be all set. So this is pretty quick and simple. Um, easy way to fix a bad wire that you can't find. All right, so we're gonna take this guy, wire this into our good wire. And then um, two of these wires will go to 19 and 20. And I'll show you afterwards, since I only, I need to use my two hands, how that works. Okay, so we got our little adapter here, and this is coming from uh, the field. I showed you the orange wire connected to this way out in that box. Connect that up here. And then blue's connected to 20, and brown's connected to 19. So you can see here, there's a no connect warning. So I'm just gonna uh, oh, looks like I checked it already and there's a cleared it up so we got a connection. We're good to go now. 